we, can we talk a little bit about the the um, hybrid infrastructure infrastructure project and what you did with that? Kind of get into a little bit of the tech you have in place and talk about maybe some of the physical layer of what you got going on with that. Yeah, so let's 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 grab a picture, another picture. This is where pictures do come in handy. Uh, share. So the cartoon architecture picture of it. <laughs> so basically, I have a cage, and I'll show you the picture of the cage shortly in the QTS data center in Chicago. We have a ten gigabit port to Megaport, this really, really cool thing where it's basically a virtual port. It's a physical uh, fiber connection to a uh, Megaport, to Megaport's network. And then I can point that connection to any one of the cloud providers. So I can get a uh, direct connect to AWS anywhere from a gig up to 10 gig, same thing for Oracle Cloud, et cetera as I need to connect to the public clouds, I can connect to the public clouds in any way that I can. I wish I would have put a uh, different slide in here, but I have a slide of the, uh, of the vSAN or the network setup. So basically uh, on the left hand, my data center engineer on the right, uh, on that picture in the right, my data center engineer is installing what's on the right. But on the left, we have a uh, Dell 730XD pod. So this has a bunch of spinning rust drives, some flash, uh, about 128 gig of mem each, and uh, dual prox. The type of virtualization pod you have built four or five years ago. Based off, based off of Intel Broadware processors, we have a 40 net firewall, we have a risk of 10 gig networking. So if you were designing or deploying a, a VMware pod, this would be probably what you deploy that's on the right hand side of this picture. I'm sorry, on the left, uh, on the left hand side of this picture, this is probably what you would deploy. We're doing a project with HPE in which we're showing their DHCI. We ran into a bunch of practical problems with the picture on the left because we're talking about modern, modernizing the data center. And operationally, if you want to get on, into that, we ran into a lot of problems that we expected to run in, but I'm actually living and I'm kind of regretting because I'm like, oh, I have all of these production issues that I hate, but that is the design of the project. I need to feel the pain that customers feel. So that as I'm telling the story, I have, I, I have a point of reference so customers understand that, really understand what they're what they're what they go through.